these treasures span 150 years of amazing grace and majestic motion. Chicago set the stage for dance history. Well, New York has the famous companies and the famous choreographers, but a lot of them came from Chicago. So we were a big training ground for them in the early part of the 20th century. For example, Gene Kelly came to Chicago for a short amount of time because of the teachers here in the 1930s. In Chicago of 1838, the first recorded instance of a dance recital happened, and since that time, this city has exploded the art form. Square dancing in Grant Park, or uh, indigenous dancers at a powwow at the Field Museum. Um, so we celebrate all kinds of dance here that happens in and around Chicago. Racism meant segregated dancing schools. Catherine Dunham was a University of Chicago graduate and excelled with her talent and African-American troupe. World-renowned prima ballerina Maria Talchi founded the Chicago City Ballet. Her toe shoes are in the exhibit, also those of legend Anna Pavlova. This is a costume made by modern dancer Sybil Shearer using burlap, wire, and foil. She ran a studio in Northbrook. A captivating image from the Joel Hall studio in Edgewater. And check out the background. Hubbard Street Dance Chicago, a breathtaking wonder set in motion by Lou Conti in 1977. These images uniquely precious since the recent passing of founding member, forever graceful, Claire Bataille. The classic, exotic, razzle-dazzle, revered, it's all here. You can see the legacy of Chicago dance at the Newbury through July 6th. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.